everyone. Hope you're all staying safe. It's Bernard here. Welcome to Bernard's Movie and TV Drama channel. Yeah, today we have a, an information vlog today. So this is a, a regular thing on what's coming out and available to buy here in the UK. Please check your territories. Uh, they're not a lot of different, but there are some slight differences. All these are uh, new movies and TV series that you can now buy on DVD mainly, the odd Blu-ray thrown in, certainly no 4K this week unfortunately, so this is a regular look. And we're looking at um, from week commencing the 21st of September, so these should be in your local stores or on certainly available online from whoever you buy your retail stuff from. Please, if you're new to this little channel, please push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications so you can hear about when these little information vlogs are coming out. And I'll give you my links to Facebook and Twitter later on uh, for general information uh, that goes on there. That I don't don't waste my time on a vlog about. I mean, just general stuff uh, for your de delectation. Right, so 21st of September 2020. So we've got five movies and four TV box sets. We've got the first movie we're going to look at today. It's called, well, it's called... It's either called Magical Adventures in the Forbidden City or Abigail. I think Abigail's a bit easier to remember, isn't it? Also known as Abigail. And the posters are coming up as Abigail anyway, so there you go. 7 99 on DVD. 110 minutes action fantasy adventure. What's it about? Well, Abigail lives in a city whose borders were closed because of an epidemic and Abby's father was one of the sick. Going against the authorities to find her father, Abby learns that her city is actually full of magic. And there you go. Directed by Alexandra Boguslavsky. There you go. I'm not going to say that again. It's also written by him. I won't repeat his name. And Dmitry Zigalov. Stars Tinatin Dalakshvili. Eddie Marsden, Rinal Mukmatov, Mukhamatov. I give up. I don't know. I don't know why I bother. Please accept my apologies for those pronunciations. Uh, I've not seen this one yet. I've seen trailers of it. It looks quite interesting. But the Joe Public Internet Movie Database rating: there's over two and a half thousand scores been left, and it's only averaging four point eight out of ten. So, it doesn't bode well. But if you've seen it and you want to buy it, it's out to buy on DVD seven ninety nine. I'll I'll try and get a little review together if I, if I do manage to watch that. And the next one we're looking at is called The Bygone. 15 rating, £7 on DVDs, cheap as chips. 115 minutes, it's a crime, drama, mystery. And it's about a young rancher who crosses paths with a Lakota girl from a nearby reservation. Her mysterious disappearance sparks a search that uncovers a harrowing past and hints at a dire future. Written and directed by Graham Phillips and Parker Phillips. So I assume, are they brothers? I assume the brothers. Stars Sean Hattosey, Jacqueline Taboni and Graham Phillips. A bit easier to around, pronounce those. Internet Movie Database, yeah, it's not done too bad. Over 1,350 reviews as I'm recording this. Uh, scores left, sorry, not reviews. And it's averaging 6.1 out of 10. So a watchable rating. So that's the bygone, which is out to buy at £7 on DVD. Again, I'm not a chance, there's not, not many of these I've had a chance to catch up with this week, unfortunately. But again, if I watch it and I like it, I'll put a little vlog out there. And the next one, I watched this, it seems like years and years ago, this one. And it's finally come out for you to, to own. 9.99 on DVD, 12.99 on Blu-ray. And it's The Man Who Killed Don Quixote. The, of course, the uh, Terry Gilliam effort, effort. And I'll try and dig my review up as well. It was that long ago now. I'll, have to, I'll try and put it in the links below. So please... Please look for it on my playlist. Isn't it? If, if you're sticking Don Quixote, if it's there, it'll be there. If it's not, it won't, I'll, I'll say I, I have not even looked to see if it's still there back in the ether. 15 certificate, 132 minutes. So you're getting money's worth with Terry Gilliam, don't you? It's an adventure drama comedy. A lot of problems with this getting it to the screen. But anyway, if you, if you watch my review, there's more information on it. Yeah, there's, it's somewhere there. Toby, a disillusioned film director, is pulled into the world of time-jumping fantasy when a Spanish cobbler believes himself to be Sancho Panza. He gradually becomes unable to tell dreams from reality. Don't we all? Stars José Luis Ferrer, Ismael Fritschi and Juan López Tegel. Uh, Metascore, it's got the critics not overly impressed, 58 out of 100. Internet Movie Database, a bit kinder to it, perhaps because it's Terry Billion, or not to Terry Billion, Terry Gilliam. It might, might be worth a billion, but I, I doubt it. Internet Movie Database rating, Joe Public, 6.4 out of 10. So that's not a bad rating based on over almost 15,000 reviews as I'm recording this. 
uh, please check out my review. I think I sort of liked it, but I say I can't remember now. But check out. I might. I might watch my review again if I get a chance. So check out my review on it anyway. The the man who killed Don Quixote. And the next one we're going to look at. It's called Sulphur and White. It's a fifteen certificate. That's out to buy eleven ninety nine DVD, fourteen ninety nine Blu ray. A hundred and twenty one minute drama. Um, what's it about? City of London trading floor 2008. In a world of cutthroat deals, it takes a unique person to succeed. Single-minded to the point of ruthless, David is this person. But beyond the aura of success lies a secret. There are layers to David. Once chipped away, what lies beyond, beyond the facade? There you go. What does? I have a clue. I've not seen it yet. I'll try. Uh, director Julian Gerald, written by Susie Farrell, stars Mark Stanley, Anna Friel and Doug Ray Scott. Internet Movie Database, it's only getting 5.3 out of 10, so not a fantastic score. That's only based on 105 reviews, though. So that's Sulphur and White. I'll try and get a look at that one. Well, it doesn't sound the most exciting plot line, does it? But uh, I'll try and get a look at that. And if it's, if it's worth a vlog, I'll do one. If it's just worth a little tweet, I'll tweet some information on it. And the next one. And the last movie I think today is called To Tokyo, 11.99 on DVD. It's a 15 rating, just 75 minutes. So you're not getting much for your bang for your buck with this one, are we? Drama, fantasy, horror. And it reads, challenged by her stepsisters to return home, a young woman hiding from her past in a remote Japanese village is abducted into a fantastic wilderness and pursued by a monster. With only four nights to escape to Tokyo and face her demons. So in interesting synopsis. Written and directed by Casper Seal Jones. It stars Robert Smith, Florence Koski and Emily Seal Jones. And it's got not a bad internet movie database rating, but there's only nine scores have been left so far, so I'll be a bit wary of that. Again, it's another one I'm trying to watch, get get some information on, but I've not had any luck at all. Not, not a very good week this week. Uh, it's got an internet movie database rate of 6.2 out of 10, so that's quite healthy. That's to Tokyo, also to buy this, this uh, coming week. And the TV box sets to watch. Obviously, if you're a big Outlander fan, Season 5 is now out to buy. 15 rated, 19.99 DVD, 26.99 on Blu-ray. Uh, just over 11 hours of entertainment. And the episodes score anywhere between 8.4 and 9.4. And it sees a continuation of Claire and Jamie's fight to protect those they love as they navigate the trials and tribulations of life in colonial America. Yeah, I do like it. I mean... Uh, I think it's still us British sure, at the, the butt of the hate, but there you go, that's just one of those things. Outlander season five, it's still it's still one I like anyway, even though it's uh, not very good. Not very good for my for my um brethren, is it? For the for the British. We get a lot of stick, don't we? Right, and the next one, Chicago PD season seven. Again, it's not something I've really watched. Fifteen rating. Season seven's out now, nineteen ninety nine on DVD. Over fifteen hours on this one, so that'll keep you quiet. Each episode scores anywhere between 8.2 and 9.1, so that's quite healthy. And it continues, after taking the fall for Dawson in the internal affairs investigation, Ruzek has been, I don't know who these are because I've never seen it, Ruzek has been arrested on charges of misconduct and obstruction, plus Voigt is liable to draw suspicion in the murder of corrupt superintendent Brian Kelton, I'm sure you know what all this is, the newly elected mayor with a vendetta against Voigt's unit. Well, there you go. There's some bonus features as well. You've got a Chicago Fire Season 8 crossover episodes, there you go, and Chicago MED Season 5 crossover episodes, so there you go. You get, you get not just Chicago PD, you get the fire, fire service and the ambulance as well. What, what more can you ask? And the next one, DC Legends of Tomorrow. Again, my apologies, I've not seen any of this at all. It's the sort of thing I would normally love. I'm a big DC fan. I, I think I don't know where I've been for the last five years. Season 5 is a 15 rating, 1999 on DVD, 2099 on Blu ray, 15 episodes. The legends deal with the aftermath of last season's finale. After saving the world by the power of song, well, of course, and themed entertainment, <laughs> sounds a bit weird. The legends are major celebrities. I'm sure. I'm sure it's it's more makes more sense than than I'm reading here because so I have no idea what it's about. Some struggle with the transition from lovable losers to A-list stars, while others start letting fame go to their heads. Of course, they will. And set 15 episodes. It scores anywhere between 7.6 and 9 out of 10 on uh, Internet Movie Database. But that's DC Legends tomorrow season five. I'll have to try and catch up with that. I'll have to start trying to watch some of season one once. Way beyond on that one and the last one we're going to look at 
was a mini series, seven episodes. There was a pilot and six episodes on BBC. Another one that even though <laughs> I've missed somewhere along the line, a comedy, twelve ninety nine, semi detached. It's a fifteen starring Lee Mack, of course. A real time sitcom follows the exploits of a loser called Stuart as he struggles through the worst half hour of his life. Well, obviously times seven because there's seven episodes. Uh, the episodes score anywhere between 7.6 and 8.5. And my apologies again. That's a, It's BBC comedy. I have no excuse for not watching that. I should have watched that by now, but I haven't. So, And it's a bit late now. I mean, it's out to buy. I mean, I should have done it when it first came on telly. But hey, there you go. Anyway, that's this week's films out to buy. Based in the UK, but please check your terraces, most of them will be available to you. So that's Magical Adventures in the Forbidden City is out, also known as Abigail, we'll call it Abigail for now. The Bygone, that's out to buy. The Man Who Killed Don Quixote at last is available to buy after, seems like, an age. We've also got Sulphur and White is out to buy. To Tokyo is out to buy. And the TVs, if you want Outlander, if you're a big Outlander fan, season series five is out to buy, or season five. I mean, I know I'm cheating a bit because it's not British based, is it? It's not a, it's not a UK series, but uh, yeah, season five of Outlander. Chicago PD season seven. DC Legends of Tomorrow season five. Semi detached. Well, we've only had one season, so it's series one, I suppose, isn't it? Anyway, that's what's out this week. Thanks for joining me for this. Hope, uh, hope everything was okay. Let me know what you're going to watch. Well, well, someone said to me, Harry, it is, it is a tenner, it is 12 quid. What what would I buy? Well, I'm struggling a bit because I've only seen the Don Quixote and I wouldn't really want to go out and buy Don Quixote. So looking at the other ones and looking at the scores, I mean, I'm struggling on the films for what I really fancy, to be honest with you. I'd probably... probably go for uh, bygone because it's a crime drama mystery i'd probably go for that and I'll, and obviously as far as the tv is concerned i've got a i've seen outlander anyway so i'm not going to buy that again i'll I'd, I'd, I'd buy dc legends tomorrow season five then i'd have to go back and watch one to four so that'll be that so, so give us 20 quid and i'll buy the dvd for that anyway thanks for watching please check my links on screen and please if you follow or friend me on facebook and twitter i do after every couple of days i check back and follow and friend everyone back and as i say i do post stuff on there that i don't do vlogs on and there's a lot of information go on there as well and stuff i like i mean if i like something i'll post it and uh, hope you enjoy it as well uh please check my little website out moviegamenostalgia.com for old rare dvds movie posters from the 90s and 2000s and board games are on there as well that's be absolutely fantastic and please if you know anyone who enjoys football and more specifically enjoys a team called Manchester City my team a team I supported for 60 it's over 60 years because I'm, I'm sure I supported them when I, was a, when I was a little baby as well so please uh, I do check my playlist and my citizen my citizen channel now which is uh, looks at city past and present so uh, anyone out there who's interested a lot, a lot of the history things have a general interest to all football fans not just city fans but uh, please if you can anyone you know that may be interested in that please point them in my direction i would much much appreciated thank you for watching anyway please all i can ask you stay safe everyone and until you join me again for a, perhaps a, a tv drama review or a movie review or just another information vlog or perhaps a quiz there's a few quizzes on there as well until we meet again all i can ask is please take care of yourself take care of your friends take care of your family let's all take care of each other I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.